This might save the open source community. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So today I want to talk about a topic you might think, oh, this is a little bit over dramatic, but personally, I don't think so. Because recently we've seen a lot of drama going on inside of the AI landscape because of how the corporate interests and investor interests push onto AI and how pushy also some startups are getting with their interest, especially when they take developments out of the community and commercialize them for their own purpose in a kind of selfish way. So there has to be more structure inside of the open source community to bring things forward. And one of the major things that I think is happening right now is that comfy.org has been founded. Now, personally, I think this is a major step in the history of the open source AI community. There is some of the best people inside of that community that work on amazing projects for like ControlNet, like the IP adapter, like a lot of amazing things. Some of the really, really skilled developers and the most important thing here is this is not a single individual project that might be abandoned, that might be falling behind. The interesting thing about ComfyUI is that it is not a tool. It is not just a software. It is a platform, a platform that can host any kind of node, even nodes that you can create yourself. Even if you can't code, you can use, for example, ChatGPT to help you with the coding of nodes. There are even nodes out there that use ChatGPT to create the code for you so that you can use it in any way you want. That means this is not just one developer. It's not just one single small group of developers. It's a larger community of developers around the world who all add to this platform. Now, this, of course, has two parts, and that's very important. On the one part, we have the foundation of the platform. And the foundation, of course, is ComfyUI. And this is why it is so important to have this org, this coming together of important developers, figuring out together how they want to organize this, how they want to make this happen. So as you might know, recently I was on an event in LA. It was the ComfyUI Summit. And there we talked about the standards for ComfyUI. Now standards might sound maybe a little bit scary. It is not taking away any abilities for you to do whatever you want to do, create nodes in any way you want to create these nodes. The only thing this does is, for example, to figure out how do we want to create the naming? Is there a certain standard? Do we have to have version numbers? And how should these version numbers work? Do we have versioning? Do we have backwards compatibility of these different nodes so that when you use an older node and it gets updated, that your workflow still works? Things like that. Quality of life improvements, things that make things more stable, that make everything more usable, changes in the UI, way that the menus are organized, the search works, the tagging works, stuff like that. So a lot of beneficial, really good things that are happening here. My wish for that better said is that I hope that Comfy UI is going to become the blender of AI. Some of the members say the Red Hat Linux of AI because of how they want to structure it. So their interest of ComfyUI is to keep it always open, always free. So all of that is really good. And it creates a very stable foundation for something you can create. Now, the other benefit here, of course, is the huge community that again has basically two parts. One part is the people who develop all these amazing nodes and there's many out there and they are very skilled and they create really amazing nodes and they make very fast integrations of new technology and also figure out new ways on how to use AI with these amazing nodes. And then, of course, on the other side is the workflow builders that figure out how to put all these nodes together and if you think about it, each of these workflows is basically an application in itself. It's basically a software, a tool in itself. So the world 
tooling is becoming more popular tooling meaning to create a tool for a certain purpose and this enables you to bring forward the innovation of ai to be part of the legacy of ai while not even know how to code also by the way do other things like use it with llms or create music with it of course also videos and images so it's multimodal on top of that and you can deploy it on a server and you can deploy it in an app through the API. You can do a lot of things with that. Now, here's another thing that I discussed with the members of Comfy Org, and that is the copyright issue. So I asked them, could this maybe function like a union? Could this be like a group that protects creators of workflows against getting ripped off by startups that just steal your workflow and do with it whatever they want and commercialize it without giving anything back to you or giving you any credit for that? And um, sadly, it seems like that is not really possible in that sense because of the legal situation, because you can copyright software code you can also copyright the documentation of what you have created but you cannot copyright methods or ideas inside of a software so just because you figure out a nice way to combine notes together doesn't really give you anything that can be copyrighted in that way so even if some companies might take your stuff i still feel like you should publish that and you should educate people about the process about the things you find out because that helps everybody and will drive information or innovation forward much faster and i feel like that is good for everybody out there and this is by the way why i'm also very happy about the founding of comfy org because their biggest interest is to keep it open source and not just say that, but actually do that. You can be part of that group. You can look into the code. You can help bring the code into a better state, fix problems, fix issues, things like that. For example, recently there has been an issue where the anti-AI community tried to create nodes that are acting like malware. And now we have a scanner inside of ComfyUI and also inside of the ComfyUI manager that will look at nodes and check out if they are malware, if they might be problematic and then just kick them out. So the community of these amazing developers is also protecting us from the bad things that can happen out there. So personally, I'm super happy about Comfy Org being a thing. I absolutely applaud that effort. There is really amazing people in that group. And if you want to be part of that, reach out to them they have a discord um yeah that's it for today let me know what you think thanks for watching subscribe and see you soon bye